Salutations and welcome back everybody to the next episode of State of the K Juggernaut Edition. Today we will try something a little bit different. The last time I went out, pain. Of course, I play everything. Oh, I lost my whole thing. <laughs> Gonna have to delete this. This time I will do a lethal run again, obviously on the highest difficulty. But I will do everything here on night. So the last time I did everything on dread. I think we stabilized pretty well and we kind of got pretty far, so this time I fight Nightmare. Just see how it goes, so I kind of... Like what I did was jumping from standard to lethal, this was a bit too quick, so I try to... Uh, used to, this, to the difficulty. Again, everything random, <clears throat> which is kind of bullshit if you, if you would ask me. Some maps are 10 times easier than others, so... But it's completely random, this is just like part of the challenge, everything random. And for the survivor too, I will take three survivors. They're all random. I just take the first reaction. Three trader. Great. <laughs> okay, let, let us have like a small view. Craftsmanship is actually not that bad. Her stats are kind of whatever. Guilt motivated into model train. <laughs> uh, no. Hardy. Hardy is actually pretty good, as Nightmares is. I don't think that is good. But he's a mechanic. Graphen and mechanic, this is actually not that bad. And now we have like somebody who is a retro gamer. <laughs> Into Ultimate Frisbee, interesting. Okay, but he has pretty good card cardio skills for the beginning. Yeah, not like the worst part, but she is really bad. Her stamina is. I'm actually thinking maybe kicking her. We, we, we will see. Okay, let's go. What map do we get? This is, um, I think... This, no, this is... Uh, and we're empty. Again. Skip this. We saw this like one minute time. I saw. What I do know a little bit is like... Maybe I'm um, explaining a little a bit more bed. than I'm Let's usually doing. Real beds. So what you do in the beginning, you just take... So there's like two ways you can do it. You can either do this and just give really your followers basically the stuff. Where our next home should be. Or you go out and you try to get some fuel, which you then could use to fuel up this car and then just use it. What the? What a great stuff. There's a lot of zombies there already. There's like a horde on top of that. Should be fine. I should clean them up maybe like running them over with a car or something. Should be fine. Kind of far away from the starting area. I would just use that opportunity to scout a little bit. So afterwards, I directly know basically where I'm going and what is like the best strategy basically to do. You can quick search here, even if you miss it. No, better than nothing. Wow. Well, I mean, let's see. I bet we can get that junker to run. Ooh. Be a great car. We're looking for houses that are constructed. We're looking for fuel cans. Like stuff like that. Okay, enough of this shit. Not really that much. Like a lot of like in those houses there can be almost everything. They're like in anything, so it's like basically a coin flip if you get what you want. Some parts, not not the So the beginning of every difficulty that doesn't matter what you do, is it's kind of um 
quiet. It's not too bad. You can always run into like, a, let's say, like a big board or something like that, but in the beginning it's okay-ish. You see, like, there's not much running around, but trust me, like, in a couple of days at night time, everything is always on. We got a zed free zone here. Okay, maybe we get, like... Whoops! Fuck! <laughs> Whoops. It could be like a material sack. I'm lucky. Excellent. Good. <clears throat> we have a few nearby. Zombies incoming. This is fine. <laughs> You actually want to fight in the beginning a little bit if you can. And I'm out of gas. Actually, not 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 a bad bad choice. So you get your fighting skill up when you actually need. It. Very cool. very dark. Rise. This should almost be fine. I mean, we are like three people here, so this should be kind of... I just want to loot this, so if I have too much loot here, I can give this to one of the other. Oh, that's actually... Food is, food is pretty good. Yeah, I already got all the crap I can... We could sure use, like, a home or something. Or something. So this is like just like stuff so I can we can fight with that. Like this gives influence. You need this for a lot of up. Good. Mm. I should come back here and grab like the, the rucksack full of This place looks safe for now. Full of food. I'm done scoping out this place. Okay, wood's level up, which is obviously very good. This is like your research. This is the plague zombie. You don't want to get bit. Or her, or it. This. So this is our first destination. This will be like your all first. The next to this one. Maybe get lucky. Get like a plague sample. Let's get this thing going. Damn it, locked. There's no reason to. Here I am, rolling up my sleeves. Watch all directions. <sighs> <laughs> I think this this finisher is pretty crazy. Actually. If we hauled out some trash, this could be home. We just basically run through like the whole area here. Can't do it. Everything. <laughs> Claim this shit pile and move in, pronto. Oh, I like that idea. Okay. So good. So far. Nothing crazy happened, actually. priority has to be gathering materials. We'll need them to improve this place. There's a region that needs scouting. Can I count on you? I'm off to a good start here. I'm glad to hear it. Finally. I don't finished. like this weapon anyways. So cool. So 
But we switch now to like team. We will do something like this. They repair this and then they clean up this when the first thing is finished. I will hold out a little bit out before I basically finish the first building. You always should do that too. Because the first quest is always the same. You basically have to find two plague samples and the last thing you want to do right now is searching for plague samples. And killing like plague zombies and stuff. It's just not a just not a good idea. Um, I want to switch to. Oh, it's not Victoria. It's the. six slots is I own I got pretty unlucky I think in the beginning so I just had one Way too sorry, had one backpack with like seven slots I do the six one I will probably kick her out at some point, but I will now use her basically to build up the base and then just finding some stuff. So I went through here, I should go there and then grab the, the food that was there. I will go alone. Again, the beginning is typically speaking relatively safe. You don't really have to worry a lot about things and and basically just clear up things. You can even see if there's like a zombie in there. This is a screamer, you don't want to kill them. Influence and they scream and they basically trigger every zombie that is around. You can't just run up to them and just smack them, but I mean, there's no reason. Okay, get up the space a little bit. I wanna check I wanna check those because I'm hoping to get like a heavy weapon. I guess all the other zombies are elsewhere for a change. Or, you know, stuff like that. You I mean that's very good. But I'm not really full, so I maybe should I should I should loot those because they give honey. This is like stuff to trade with influence you can Know, stuff, maybe stuff you need, maybe new ammunition and stuff. Great noise brought him <coughs> right to me. This isn't going to open. <coughs> Too loud. <coughs> Good company. Zombie free. Okay, that looks good. Please, a can, please, please, a can. So much for not attracting Come zombies. Game. Give me a can. This could be like ammunition or stuff. <clears throat> Didn't find a thing. Or just nothing. Great. <laughs> oh man, this is um. Yeah, I want that. I find good stuff as well, but this is a little bit 
I just have, I just bring bring this back. It's not that far. I don't want to waste. I mean, this is nightmare after all and lethal, so I should just you know. Play as good as I can. The good thing now is, as you can see in the top left, if you have very sufficient or insufficient resources, we have like from left to right, it's food, it's medical supplies, ammunition, it's building materials, and it's fuel. If you have too little of stuff, you kind of kind of lower the morale of your people, and at some point they're actually thinking about leaving. Which is, in some cases, you. I wouldn't. I wouldn't mind, but you kind of need need your people at in the beginning, especially if. I mean, we we would just start anew if I would lose somebody, you know. So. Clown zombie. Again, those who don't have to go, you can just drive them. They're not really that dangerous. They just, if they see you and you don't do anything, they just scream. Uh, yeah. But it's good, I kind of got this done. Totally worthless. <laughs> to be honest, I don't like blunt weapons in the beginning. They feel very clunky. This is a very good find. That modded cook. Okay, nice. I found something. I'd love to loot that, but there's a plague bloater. Maybe, maybe next time. I need a break. I mean, she's kind of injured a little bit. Maybe I should. The medic, medic sub is really good. Let's switch to. Oh yeah. And let uh, clear this away. So we have more space to build. I'm not planning on staying for uh, forever here like at all, but I mean it's it's a good starter base after all. Feral. Better be careful they move Feral. fast. Be bad. I'm gonna grab the food. What is the next big plan? I need fuel. There's a lot of shit. Barrel is. Maybe I go here? Hmm. 
There could be some fuel down there. Yes, they did. Or well, some of them did. The good trick you always can have is just you be loud and then you just crouch away. They will always run to the next thing that was loud. Basically. Now they're just there and well, of course I can't loot them. This was the only way in, so. I guess it is worth it. I never saw this actually. Very material. God damn it, I need I really need I really need a real car. That is very useful. right now yeah, I'm actually getting pretty unlucky is this gasoline maybe sure. Nothing we can use. Oh my god, this game. That's a screamer. Let's not make it upset. I can taste blood in the air. I think a plague heart is nearby. Probably lots of plague zombies, too. Yeah, there are a lot of plague zombies. Uh, where actually? I think I have to go. I need a car, god damn it. There are, there are like two cars, but this... I think I never got this, 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 this crazy unluck. Not getting any gas. It's a plague zone. A lot of plague zone. I mean, this is a gas station, right? I'm not crazy. I should find some fuel there. Brucey. Where's the car actually? Ramble's car. Yeah. That's pretty far off. All the other cars seem to be destroyed. Have some. Good thing is, if you're in plague territory and you kill plague zombies, you can awaken the plague heart, which is something you don't want. But if you stealth kill them, this will not trigger. This place seems clear for now, but I know that won't last. Please. Please. <laughs> Please, game.
looks fine ish. I will normal search now because back territory is not a good idea to awaken like every zombie in your surroundings. This is a very good find by the way. So the the general strategy you have in the beginning is you loot until you have enough stuff to clear out the first play card. I almost have it. The last thing I need. Yeah. That's not going to fit. This is trash anyway. It's maybe like a heavy weapon. You can do this without it, 100%. But it's just like, I would say, easy. Pick up some, some loot here. Just none. Sometimes. Not this time. More possibilities for fuel. Again, even though I kind of want to have a quick search, if I do this and I mess this up, I have like 10, zo 10 zombies on me. This is cool item, but I don't need this right. This has to be. It, like, it, it like this has to be. Thank you. Finally. What do I throw away? So I will not continue looting, I will just aim for the next car. Uh, I think I like the Ramses more than the, Mi than the Miragra. I think I do. So normal jogging is not as loud as most people think. You guys are gonna love the crap I just dropped off. There's a bloater, but I just run around him. I could trigger him, but he makes a lot of noise, so. Really gay. Yeah, more and more freaks you see, the longer the game goes, basically. I need a rest. Oh, this is the, the, the horde I... I triggered before I like, broke into, into that shack. This is like an area where you can see like ferrules and stuff. I have to be careful. I should be able to kill a ferrule with this rucksack. A lot of weight. So. This is a plague bloater. Can't really to sneak. I see a lot of plague zombies. Oh my god. I mean, it doesn't make a big difference killing one zombie. Right? But if you want to loot this item, there could be some crossbow bolts. Too. And it's starting to getting dark. I guess it's better than nothing. Barely better than nothing. This car is pretty good. <laughs> it looks pretty messed up, to be honest. I will fight him normally. 
You should like this. Probably a lot of uh, fuel here. That's a crazy car, actually. He used this right right away because this car looks like it's almost exploding. <laughs> Maybe we get some some doors back. Yeah, thanks. A lot of trash. Thank goodness, nothing hurt that. Can't do it. Oh, this could be another toolkit. I would love that. Or just fucking a gear. That's a lot of stuff. That's actually a lot. That is a good find, even though I would prefer having. Oh, very nice. Okay. This basically enabled me to be able to. Kill the first plank card. Thank goodness. Something we can use. Mm. I'm almost full, but there's like a thing I should do. I should just drive back. Running a car is very loud, a lot of people do that, especially if you do stuff like that. <laughs> but it's um I really need more fuel. Can't really do anything. Don't want to waste my one shot. I have. Gas station, huh? Those are just like all whatever buildings, but I need like a gas station. How about I was there? I didn't found. Filling tank. So even though it doesn't really have like a big impact that it's actually nighttime, I don't like nighttime because you just don't you ju you just don't see shit. Sometimes very bad. So many bloaters. There's a feral to try to kill him. This is not good. That isn't good. Okay, that's an easy click. Yeah, even though you shouldn't do this, this is Yeah, yeah. If this would be lethal, I would probably not be able to loot all of them. I just was like the. Okay. 
Because there would be a lot of plague zombies here and you shouldn't you shouldn't do do something like that. Because then you would awaken our play cards and from there it kinda auto shit basically. But <laughs> okay, I mean, whatever, right? Locked. This is what I. There's like a lot of loot in here, and there could be very good loot actually. Let's, clear. let's start with this. So nighttime, I usually avoid fast looting. I have like the feeling that I just spawn more zombies. Ooh, ammunition is always good. This looks like weapon crates. Do we actually get like a weapon? Like imagine having a weapon. Zombie apocalypse. Apocalypse. Okay. Another pipe bomb. This is very very handy. So we're really ready for like. I can almost skip like I think like one entire uh, just using a pipe. Nice. nice, nice. So let's swap and then. It's not a weapon you want to just fire lightly, but now I have something to kill ferrets with. This is basically the main reason you kind of want to try to get a fast, or like, let's say, any weapon that you can fire. Like any pistol, anything that shoots fast. Rifle ammo press. I never found this item. Like, never. This is probably pretty rare find. Another pipe bomb. Getting lucky. Combination rucksack. That's very good too. Like it. I forgot maybe. There's one item to don't see. Oh, probably on top. Actually, not not the worst idea, right? Like, imagine this: we would just live here. Zombies tend not to climb. Like, it would be kind of fun. What is this? Careful, freak over there. There should be building materials here in, in this building. But I'm aiming for fuel. I mean, I'm running low on fuel already. I don't want to be here any longer than I have to. like two normal zombie kills they all contribute to awaking the the plague heart. as long Which, as that plague heart is nearby i yeah, don't want. really secure this place
supplies for our base. Fuel. Another can. More parts incoming. <laughs> oh my god, this thing. I think I break this thing down. I need I need fuel. Like more than I need fuel for me. No room for that. But you just take some pictures. They make a lot of noise. Maybe someone would want this. I actually don't want to kill them. I need to play cards, but. Huh? What was that? <laughs> like. Okay, he just he just vanished. All, all right. I just refill this thing. Please don't trigger the zombie. Please, please. As you can see, they are not really the brightest. But like, you know what you're doing. <laughs> kind of, you should be Maybe I should scout a little bit the air. Very good. Other one. So as you see on the left, like a little bit above the minimap, this is a plague zombie. They just they they just scratch me. It's not like a big. But if this meter goes full, we basically can convert to a zombie. We have to find like a like a cure for. Them. This is not like a big deal, and you can just. No rest in, in like a medical tent or something like that. You're good to go. But this is of course something you shouldn't like when this is like almost full. You shouldn't go <laughs> out without like a plague you. Yeah. Huh? This was a feral. I don't like. I may have just spotted There's a plague one heart. Decker. This is already here. Okay. Looks like we have a screamer over here. This is the reason I'm not triggering the first quest with the first enclave. Enclave are just like other that survivors you can trade with. Okay. Because if you Nothing do that, you increase the difficulty of the first plague heart. And then you have like instantly spawn like two or three ferals when you hit it, and this is yeah, as you as you can think, it's not fun to to deal with. I mean, you can, but it it costs so much resources. I should check this out. Doing some cardio. In. Nine. They cut us basically next to me. I just want to make my inventory full so it feels like that I'm not no, nobody wasting it. Someone must be upset that they left this good. behind. I 
Is this the first pack that I will bust? I'm not sure. No room for that. Should, should just go back. <laughs> In that house. Huh? We'll kill those zombies off and try to kill them with the stealth skill to get like the last plague samples. So wait the first enclave if you want to. Because when you do that, you then you enable the option. Wait. You can spend your influence on. Temple, pretty unlucky. Actually. I should drive back. That's probably not the first one. Is this? Thing hit me. This is bullshit. This is so bullshit. <laughs> yeah, but you saw that this thing was away, f like a meter, at least one meter away from the car, but it still hit like. Uh, and if that bloater hits the car, you have like a debuff in in the car. You get like damage and plague just gets like pushed further. And this this just this basically happened. It wasn't the ferret that killed me. It was basically the bloater that just went off. Like not even I wasn't even touching it. Kind of stupid. But yeah, as it like for the rules, um, if one of my guys dies, I have. <clears throat> I always try to think what I have done wrong. I think I got too greedy. I was just looting in the in the yeah. I was looting in the in the plague zone at night. I had everything I needed, so I should have just went back. I should have. Lethal, and then the rest is. Okay. Random again. Let's see what we got. He's fine. Mechanic. Warlord. That's all fine. Her name is Hollywood. <laughs> Always kept moving. After the outbreak, I never said still kept on the road running from disaster to the. She has like an 8 slot. Very good. And they look way more potent than S Tube is the name. She's good in chemistry and one in mechanics. This is this is not bad. We have different options. Warlord, I never had a warlord leader. I had a builder leader one. Oh, 
Oh no, that's my. I think this is this is the worst map. And we're empty. We've got to find a place to settle down. I like this uh, this hatchet more than than the club. Double food. I really hope we find a new home soon. We need a new home, and we need it right the heck now. Maybe we should just take the next place we come across. The bells should really start to to chill out. Yeah, should kick my own ass for that. Well, this looks like a homey neighborhood. There's already a feral. Are you serious, game? Like, yeah, there's a feral. <laughs> Good thing I go the way here. It's locked. Figures. It's all clear. Hopefully, we're starting a trend. Make a lot of noise. I just hope to find some sort of. Shit. <laughs> Shit. We find a new home soon. Why do I even get my hopes up? That's pretty good. Boring. That's not boring. That was actually a good fight. Found a few more of them. <laughs> I like the name of my test tube in Hollywood. It's kind of cool. Just some random bullshit. It's not like something that really helps. Let's, let's get back. Maybe we should try to kill the feral. He should be around here. There, there is. There he is. Hey, what's up, bitch? Come here. Come here. Great, feral. If he leaps on me, I'm fucked. Very good. Yes, you got a lot of damage. In. Nice. The terror is dead. That's very helpful. I like that. The start is actually not that bad. Yet. <laughs> I need a break. I have like a friend who only plays this map. He thinks this is the best map because it's like the newest map and therefore it's like the less buggiest map, basically. I don't know. I just don't really like this map. It feels very empty. You have to drive a lot around to actually get some stuff. But yeah, this is the first base. Kind of cool, like the tower is pretty cool, but you don't really use it that often. I'm here. Time for me to get to work. Finals are gone, so it's time for us to claim this place and move in. All right, well, let's claim this place. Head. Oh, it has an infamy right from the start. That's actually pretty handy. Wow, cool.
but then it will consume um, medical supplies like right off the bat, we'll which is pretty bad. Place. You should explore a bit, see what's around. Supplies are home, safe and sound. So we have medics, medic supplies now. We we'll go here. I will switch the weapon with the next part. I will choose. It's food again. I'm actually good on food then. Something we have to do here? No, everything is basically. Bloater ahead. Better kill it quick. And this is my problem with that. Now you have like this. But here, like there's a lot of zombies around here, obviously. Could use this to find like some material. Okay. And you will scavenge the area around you pretty fast. There's not much. There's like a lot of space with nothingness, basically. It sucks that we can't enjoy these quiet moments anymore. Let's have a look. So far, so good here. Right on. Ooh, that's very good. Like a small medical center, this would be like a very good first outpost. I need medical supplies pretty badly. That's enough looking around for now. Ranger station, that's probably a very good idea to go there. this huh I need ammunition I need building materials and I you Basically nothing. Twenty five gear is pretty good. Any material, please? Win a winner chicken dinner. This one's done. What's next? Win a winner chicken dinner. Oh, that's <laughs> this is a different game normally. <laughs> I like that. That's kind of fun. Hello, Mr. Screen. Please die. Thank you. There's a bloater and there's another screamer. I will go to the other. No, I will not. Does make sense. I can't carry that anyway. I see a plague bloater. much influence do I have? Like 70 to low. Aim like an outpost. Very helpful. Ugh. Oh, smells like blood. Must be a plague heart nearby. <coughs> Better watch out for plague zombies. Nobody else is home. 
But with a play card around, that won't last. Now that's heavy. Having a play card move in must really fuck up property values. <sighs> this is gonna come in handy. Yeah, this is for looting, for gaining info. God damn it. I think I've searched everywhere I can. Is there like a gas station, something like this? There is one. You have to. I should check that out. Not a game. This is not a. Um. Hmm. Ruin car lot. There could be some fuel here too. No, this is probably building material. Actually, really get, getting very unlucky here. Okay, but this is not like the end of the world. If that barrel tackles me, I'm toast. So. just take up space but if we had a workshop we could turn them into useful salvage we we'll switch up first test tube <laughs> oh no to bobby yeah hey, bobby what's up Ready to fight some zombies, huh? That's a feral. I'd better be careful. They're damn quick. Another feral? What feral is that? Holy blood feral. Pretty hard to kill. Without any weapon. This looks like a waste of time. Okay, he's, this is a normal feral. He's Hey, come here. What's the 
was a bitch, huh? <laughs> Did I think so? Where's the other zombie? There was a plague zombie here. Oh, he, he just wanted. So I would wish for like a rucksack full of fuel and then two fuel cans. <laughs> that would be very good. This is already plague territory. A good start. I can fuel my cows now. Okay, run or fight. Um how about fuck it? Two one isn't even a plague zone. <laughs> Big question now when you do stuff like that. Is it really worth it? Ask search. Is that really worth it though? Better make it stay down. Kinda isn't. I'm sure you can kill those zombies, no problem. Maybe you even don't you know don't maybe you not even get hit. Oh, great. But then you spend way more time killing those two zombies. Looting. In this daytime, loot as much as much as you can right now. very good we're slowly getting some pieces together to actually tackle the first there we go another red bull I should get the car. Oh my god, there are so many zombies. And uh, that's kinda insane. Maybe I should scout and look if if I can find a diff different car.
It's clear, but I can't really secure this place with a plague heart so close by. This looks like death. Yeah, this looks like there's no way. There's even a freaking bloating. This is very spicy. Should do this. <laughs> I should like, like what I'm supposed to be doing. It is so many zombies. Here. to wait for, for the horde to just move by but there's still a feral lurking around here hmm. Hey Hollywood, show me what you got. I don't think I'm gonna get better without help. Maybe I should scout with the north.
It wasn't perfect. I think I'll take that. Maybe someone would want this. Locked. I hope nothing heard that. There's nothing here. Some ammunition that's nice. about some guns. the ranger station actually do it's just like an outpost defense yeah no. they must have heard that
locked. No more creepers. We're good to go. Creepers miles away must have heard that. That's almost as much as I can carry. I wish I had room for that. this thing. I don't know what to change about that. We don't have weapons, we don't have anything really to deal with that. Um, I made like one mistake there in the beginning. I just I, I thought like because he, because he's like kind of caught between the fence and myself, I thought I could just you know smack him all all the time. But after four swings, apparently, they just basically. Uh, will attack regardless. And you saw like one hit is like 50% life away and then 50% take directly. And then it was out of stamina. So I couldn't really... I couldn't really um, replenish that because I have to dodge his attacks. So. Maybe it's just like a better approach to situations like that. Just to run to the car because then you can actually maybe get away or... The favorite does, does like a mistake, like jumps on the back side of the car and stuff like that. And maybe that is a better way to do it. I don't know. Um, I just figure I have to figure this out by myself. I can't. Sometimes I just beat them pretty easily because they, yeah, I don't know. Maybe maybe it's just like, maybe I should have taken like some snacks and stuff. Sometimes it feels pretty buggy, to be honest. Because like when we started the run, we were fighting like three guys fighting like one feral, and that thing was a bit trapped behind a fence, and they could just slam on this thing all all day long, and it didn't really change anything. But yeah, I don't know. It just um, it feels like having no stamina. It's basically a death sentence, basically. Anyways, I will take a break. I have to, kind of have to think about that. And see you in the next episode. Take care, take care everybody. <laughs>